So far in this chapter, all of the filtering techniques that I have shown you use fields that are included in the pivot tables organization. In this movie, I will show you how to use report filter fields that allow you to limit the data displayed in a pivot table without changing its organization. I will use the report filter sample file, which you can find in the chapter three folder of your exercise files archive. This is a fairly simple pivot table. It contains new customer data based on quarter, one, two, three, and four, for four regions. If you look over in the pivot table fields pane, you can see that there are actually four fields available to me. The one that isn't currently displayed is year. And I'll just show you what happens when I add it to the pivot table. So I have year, and I'll drag it down above regions in the rows area. And you can see that my data is broken out by year in addition to being broken out by region and by quarter. But let's say that I don't care about the year. I know that the data is from 2012 and 2013, and all I care about are the totals. Well, the first thing I can do is remove year from the rows area, but where do I put it? There are two options. The first is that I could drag it back up to the top to remove it from the pivot table, or I can also drag the year field header from the rows area to the filters area. Doing so changes the pivot table back to its original organization, but it also adds the year field here to the top left area of the pivot table. This is called the report filter area, or just the filter area in Excel 2013. If I click this filter fields down arrow, Excel displays a filter interface. I can create a search filter, or I can click individual items. So let's say that I only want to see values for 2012. If I click 2012 and click OK, Excel changes the data inside of the pivot table, and the value 2012 appears here in cell B1. I'll click the down arrow again, click 2013, click OK, and you can see that the values change. If you want to show multiple values, then click the filter arrow, check the select multiple items box, and you get a selection interface like you would do if you were creating a filter for a regular field. In this case, I only have two items, so checking the 2012 box also checks the all box. So I can just click OK, and now I have essentially no report field filter. So that by itself is pretty neat. You can filter the items that appear inside the body of a pivot table without changing its organization. There's one other thing you can do with filter fields, which you might not know about if you haven't worked with pivot tables extensively. And that is, you can create separate worksheets, in fact, separate pivot tables, that summarize only the data for each item in your filter field. Let me show you how to do that. First thing you need to do is click any cell inside the pivot table, and then click the Analyze Contextual tab. Then in the pivot table group, which is all the way to the left, click the Options Buttons down arrow, and then click Show Report Filter Pages. Doing so opens the Show Report Filter Pages dialog box. Every field currently positioned in the filters area appears here in the list. And you can then click any or all of the fields that you want to use to divide up the values in your pivot table. So for example, if I had both year and region, then I could click one or both. One thing to watch out for though, is that Excel would create a new pivot table and a new worksheet for every combination. In this case, I have two years and four regions, so that would be eight separate pivot tables. So be very careful when you're doing it because the numbers can grow very, very quickly. But in this case, all I have is one field, which contains two values. That's year, I'll make sure it's selected, click OK. And now I have two new sheets with pivot tables, one for 2012, and if I click, one for 2013. And you can see that in fact, they're normal pivot tables. The difference is that a filter has already been applied for the year 2013 here and the year 2012 here. So that's two useful ways to apply filters using the report filters field. You can limit the data that appears in your pivot table without changing its organization, and you can create separate worksheets and pivot tables for subsets of your data.